done got all the whoopings. He done got the plenty. He done did it. He done, you know, did everything as a child you could do to him. So now he gonna have to, he gonna have to go through it. He gonna have to go through it and get through it. In recent years, T.I. and Tiny's son, King Harris, has made headlines for his disorderly behavior. While some people gleefully tune in to the hot, stankin' mess, others are worried that King is headed down the wrong path. As we dive deeper into today's topic, please keep in mind that as of this video, King is still a teenager. As adults, let's do our best to keep the comments concerning this matter as mature and tasteful as possible. But before we jump into today's video, I got the crowd yelling. Give me snacks, give me snacks. All my hot girls yelling. Give me snacks, give me snacks. All the dope boys yelling. Give me snacks, give me snacks. From the back day yelling. Give me snacks, give me snacks. <laughs> RRGsnacks.com is our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, butter toffee peanuts, and green apple licorice for you to enjoy while watching our videos. Give me some bacon jerky expeditiously. To give you some better insight into this story, we have to go back to before King was even born. T5, in 1998, T.I. was convicted on a controlled substances charge. Upon his release, he violated his probation numerous times. While all this was going on, he started dating Tiny sometime around the start of the new millennium. After finding out they were expecting a child, T.I.'s problems continued. In December 2003, an arrest warrant was issued and his probation was revoked. He was in police custody by March 2004 and was sentenced to three years behind bars, but was released on probation in May 2004. King was born on August 25, 2004 and joined T.I. and Tiny's blended family. Three more children would follow, including a stillbirth in 2007. King has lived his life in front of cameras ever since his family appeared in the 2009 MTV reality show, T.I.'s Road to Redemption. During the show, MTV's cameras followed T.I. for 45 days, up until he headed off to the Slammer to serve one year behind bars on gun charges. While T.I. was locked up in an Arkansas federal prison, Tiny found her voice and the strength to tackle single mommyhood head on. She stopped being timid and stepped up to take care of their household. Upon T.I.'s release, the family jumped straight into another reality show called T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle, which premiered in December 2011. So by that point, King was seven. In an interview with Funny Marco, King said, There's a lot about that TV show that got people confused because I live with my grandma. He went on to say that he would show up at his parents' house when it was time to film, and when they rapped, he went right back to his grandma's house. While the show was supposed to be a wholesome peek inside the family's day-to-day -day life, T.I. and Tiny were struggling through some major issues. Tiny had changed from being meek and mild to being strong and confident. Unsatisfied with her new demeanor, T.I. admitted he started smashing a new woman who was more submissive. Found him somebody that he can be like, hey, don't move, tell me this, do that. And then Excuse me. I was not, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Mm. Mm -mm. This would be one of many breakups for the couple, and the turmoil continued after their July 2010 wedding. Two months after becoming husband and wife, T.I. and Tiny were locked up in West Hollywood after cops found ecstasy in their vehicle. Tiny confirmed the substance belonged to her, and the charges against her were later dismissed. As for T.I., his charges were dropped as well. However, a judge ruled his arrest and a failed drug test violated his probation on his previous weapons conviction. He was sentenced to 11 months behind bars and was separated from his wife and children once again. Tiny has filed for divorce multiple times, and she even moved out of their family home during a 2017 breakup. Their cheating scandals have been plastered all over the internet for decades, in addition to allegations that they like to engage in three-way action. They've also been accused of victimizing up to 11 women. The LA District Attorney's Office declined to pursue criminal charges because the alleged incidents exceeded the statute of limitations. T.I. also got pulled over for speeding in November 2023 and told the responding officer he was driving recklessly because his passenger was getting on his nerves. Sources state his passenger was tiny, of course. I'm telling you the honest to God truth, me and my old lady will argue. If you go ask her, she'll tell you, we will argue. And I just kind of, I was trying to get home as fast as I could to get out the car. 
lord, this is messy. Now, you're probably wondering what all of this has to do with King. Some may argue that since his parents were well off, he shouldn't have a care in the world. He should be taking advantage of all the opportunities and resources that come with being the offspring of famous parents. Uh, yeah. However, he has witnessed his parents' multiple breakups. He's privy to all of the negative information that has been exposed about his parents online, and he has been separated from his father during his numerous stints behind bars. How does having an incarcerated parent affect a child? Well, according to PsychologyToday.com, when a parent goes to prison, young children often develop emotional responses such as sadness, fear, and guilt as a reaction to the parent's incarceration. These emotional reactions can turn into severe behavioral problems, triggering conflicts between the child and others. In a May 2019 episode of Family Hustle, King, who was 14 at the time, expressed his desire to be in the music business. During the episode, Tiny chastised him for his refusal to rehearse in front of his siblings ahead of his upcoming performance. King emphasized that he felt pressured, and Tiny tried to explain to him that it was all a part of show business. Her stern demeanor led to a disagreement between her and King, and he can be seen on camera tearing up. Why are you yelling? Because you're sitting here crying. No, this is not the business. You won't be crying every goddamn show you get. Please no, tell him what's going on. Right, bro. It's, come on. It's all right. My bad. Go on out there with him. In another episode, he asked to be homeschooled so he can focus more on making music. His parents were completely against the idea, with T.I. explaining to King he hadn't put in enough work to set aside school to pursue music. Once again, King became emotional. Stop coddling him! Months after the episode aired, footage emerged of King involved in a one-on-one -on -one fight in a school bathroom. The incident led viewers of the reality show to wonder if the real reason he wanted to be homeschooled was because his classmates were targeting him. Them kids be hating. King graduated high school with honors at the age of 17. With honors? Go head on, King. We knew you had it in you, boy. We knew you had it in you. But his behavioral issues persisted. Well, damn. Come on, nephew. We pulling for you. In June 2021, a clip surfaced of King in a heated argument with an unknown person. And then he received backlash for asking an unhoused person to take part in the controversial and dangerous One Chip Challenge. In May 2022, he was seen having a dispute with employees at a local Waffle House after his request to not add pickles to his meal wasn't honored. They do be tripping at the Waffle House, though. Who the hell is he? Person that with you. What's your name? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know. know. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Come back. What? Come on back. game what? On game what? Come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. As he began cursing here. inside the establishment and people told him to watch his mouth, King grew more and more upset. He then told one of the employees, everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. He also threatened to hit one of the employees with his weapon. As the video went viral, T.I. addressed the situation by wondering why his son's altercation was newsworthy. He then added, I had to explain to him that when people are not living like the way they hoped they would live, and here you are walking in, enjoying so much freedom and luxury, and, you know, people are going to posture themselves a certain way. So, therefore, you are going to have to enjoy your life. You have to remove yourself from that energy and go enjoy your life. The fuck he talking about? In August 2022, King was apprehended alongside Boosie's son, Tootie Raw. It's unclear what the charges were, but Boosie told Vlad TV it had something to do with driving under the influence or the young boys being in possession of things they shouldn't have had in the car. According to Boosie, the charges were dropped. After his mugshot was released, online users accused King of chasing a lifestyle that he was unfamiliar with. T.I., he took to his Instagram to address King's arrest and said that he predicted his son would be in prison if he continued down the wrong path. I've already had the conversation. I've already made my peace with it because I know that energy. I was that energy. I know exactly how it's going to turn out. I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. This incident prompted social media personality Charleston White to hop online to predict that King would indeed wind up in jail again. Charleston also anticipated King would be unable to defend himself behind bars due to his sheltered upbringing. 
he went on to refer to King, who was 18 at the time, as a yellow-haired freak. Say what? Now your grown ass know better than that. During a January 2023 appearance on Club Shay Shay, T.I. opened up about some of the struggles King was facing. King reportedly expressed to his parents that he didn't want to be a typical celebrity kid. He didn't want to live off of their success, and he definitely didn't want to live in their shadow. T.I. added, King wants a clean slate. I tried to tell him he'll never have that. You were born with it. You can't give it back. This brings us to November 2023. King attended the Atlanta Falcons game with his family, and the organization also held an event paying tribute to 50 years of hip-hop. But the moment that stole the show was an off-the-field interaction between King and his parents. Flag on the play, flag on the play. In the footage, which was captured on Instagram Live, King and his parents have a discussion regarding King's upbringing. King attempted to debunk the idea that he grew up in the lap of luxury, and his parents disagreed. King explained that he didn't even live in the family's mansion. He lived at his grandmother's house. King referred to the home as a bando. In case you're unaware, a bando is short for an abandoned house, but it typically refers to a trap house or a place where illegal activity takes place. Yo, I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. He was twelve years old. He was suck and pacify. He was twelve years old. He didn't do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Hold his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They try to say I was over there trying to suck a pacify. But they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They're trying to hide it. The discussion escalated with King yelling at his parents and accusing them of lying. And then it appeared that they engaged in a family tussle right there in them folks' stadium. The ghetto. Following the incident, T.I. implied they had all made up by sharing a new episode of Complex's Goat Talk with King. In his caption, he wrote, I'm a ride to the heavens or the depths of hell about my junior, and ain't nothing gonna change that. You better let them know, Tip. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into their argument, shall we? Yes, we shall. Why would King be so hell-bent on proving he didn't grow up with a silver spoon in his mouth? To better understand this, we have to give y'all a little history lesson. Class is in session. On August 11, 1973, 18-year-old DJ Cool Herc rocked a party for fellow teenagers in a small community room in an apartment building in the Bronx, New York. That event is commonly celebrated as the birth of hip-hop. The genre became a way for artists to creatively express their lives in poverty, gang violence, struggle, hardships, and suffering with a combined emphasis on resilience. The music continues to speak to people who can relate and have similar upbringings. Now, it most certainly isn't a requirement to be in a gang, get locked up, or have a troubled childhood in order to be a successful rapper. However, music lovers prefer honesty and look down upon artists who lie about their upbringing. Like Rick Ross, for example, who began his career rapping about hustling and drug dealing only to be exposed for being a former corrections officer. <gasps> He was wrong for that one, bruh. Since King has musical aspirations, it's possible that he's holding tightly to the idea that he grew up outside of the gates of his parents' mansion as a way to show his credibility to hip-hop fans. This might also explain his tendency to pop off and to get involved in altercations to prove his street cred. As for his parents, well, we understand why they would be offended by his desire to be seen as hood or gangsta, knowing how hard they've worked to provide a better life for their children. If King wants to be delusional or omit certain aspects of his childhood, then, well, that's his business. However, during their altercation at the Falcons game, some believe T.I. and Tiny went out of their way to publicly embarrass King. Even if they were just joking around and poking fun at him, clearly King wasn't laughing. King has been subjected to online taunts and hurtful memes for several years. Many of these verbal attacks have come from grown-ass adults. They need their ass whooped. Since he's been in the press in recent years for his unruly behavior, online users have made it a mission to talk down about him. They've even gone as far as to mock his appearance. Yeah, that boy showing out at the Falcon game, em embarrassing the family. The this is the hat. Yeah, that Mitch King, little ugly. Oh, that boy got a big mouth on him. And he talk loud with them yellow, big old red yellow lips. After getting a new set of teeth, online users went even harder with the vitriol. T.I. made an appearance on Diamond Cut's radio show and laughed harder than the hosts about King's teeth. 
It's a going on, T-Sweat. <laughs> Things only cooled down when T.I.'s youngest daughter, Eris, stepped up and said, Don't talk about my brother like that. I know, that's right, Eris. Yes, a bunch of adults sat around and joked about a teenager's teeth, and they only pumped the brakes when a seven-year-old told them to cut it out. If T.I. was so quick to laugh about his son in front of non-family members, is it possible that King is made fun of even more behind closed doors? His parents know him better than any of us, so we're sure they know and understand King's triggers. Although it's not their job to walk on eggshells and baby him for the rest of his life, surely they could be mindful of the topics that might push him to act out in a certain way. Instead, during the incident at the Falcons game, they continued to take shots at him over a subject that clearly bothers him. And after getting him all riled up, they made things even worse by telling King he was embarrassing himself. When, in fact, they were the ones who embarrassed him, which prompted King to snap. According to PsychologyToday.com, when parents embarrass their adolescent children, it can create painful social exposure, it can attack their self-esteem, and it can produce acute anxiety. Adolescence, which is a period of development between the ages of 10 and 19, is a time when a child can be extremely sensitive to insults. Teasing and verbal put-downs with the intent to embarrass can feel threatening, isolating, and humiliating. Even when done in fun, teasing isn't fun for the person on the receiving end. So what's the solution? Well, according to psychologytoday.com, parents need to be mindful of embarrassing their adolescent children because the pain can cut deep and develop into shame, which will have long-lasting and harmful effects. Now, we're not going to sit here and pretend that King is innocent. The way he conducts himself in public at times is unacceptable. However, as we frequently mentioned, he's only 19 as of this video. His brain hasn't even finished maturing. And according to the University of Rochester Medical Center, the rational part of a teenager's brain isn't fully developed until the age of 25. King still has a lot of growing up to do, and doing so in front of the public eye can't be easy. In addition to the things he witnessed and experienced during his childhood, as well as the hurtful comments he receives from strangers, it's imperative that his loved ones continue to support him publicly and behind the scenes. Behind the tough exterior, King appears to be a sensitive adolescent who's just trying to navigate his way through this thing called life. We've all been there. However, for most of us, we have the luxury of not having to go through these types of growing pains while living our lives under a microscope.